<laughs> Schrager, I like that ring. Yes. Well done there. Harmony. Tom Brady turned 42 mm -hmm. on Saturday. I was kind of bummed the Pats had the day off. I was looking forward to yeah. avocado mm -hmm. ice cream and non-cake and all sorts of <laughs> baby goats running amok up there in Foxborough. But he did, instead of a birthday party, get a new deal done on Sunday. With more on TB12's new situation with the Patriots, here's NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. Heading into the 2019 training camp for the Patriots, one of the biggest questions was, would Tom Brady go into this season in the final year of his contract for the first time ever, or would him and the Patriots reach an extension that would kind of help solidify his future more so than it already is? And the answer was yes. The Patriots and Brady would do a deal. Earlier on Sunday, sources said they struck a two-year, $70 million extension based on new money in this deal. That's the headline. The most important thing for Brady, he gets an $8 million bump in his 2019 salary. It goes from $15 million to $23 million, still underpaid, but closer to what the upper echelon of quarterbacks make. Then for the 2020 season, he's on the books for $30 million and $32 million after that. I am told, however, that both sides are amenable to reworking this deal for cap reasons if they so choose after this 2019 season. They got it done, Ian. Appreciate you. And they got it done before the season. Shrags, when you heard what he was making, what was your reaction? It's funny, Kay, because back in February at the Combine, I started hearing this thing bubbling like, hey, Brady's entering the final year of his contract. He's never done that break-the-bank deal. Maybe this is going to be the contract where he says, okay, I'm just taking the house down. I'm going to the casino and I'm bringing down $42 yeah. million a yeah. year. And no one would argue it. But he doesn't. He goes for $27 million a year, and he gets a little bit of a bump next year and the year after that. And even in his third year of the contract, he won't be making near what Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers are making currently. And I talked to other executives around the league about this deal, and they said, well, that's the imbalance. That's called arbitrage. Everyone wants to talk about Brady and Belichick being the brain trust, but this is where the Patriots are the difference makers. Because Brady is willing to set his ego aside and say, I am fine making not the most money, even though he probably deserves it for the rest of his career, but the sixth most money, sure. not a disrespectful thing, not right. an insult, but that he is completely fine in making sixth most out of all the quarterbacks and not first most. They can spend that money elsewhere. They get a salary cap relief with this deal and it allows the Patriots to kind of divvy up the funds and go elsewhere. This is a rare situation in sports. It's a rare situation in football. And it really is one of the unspoken differences in the As much as we talk about how great they are and the coaches and the players and the ability for next man up to step up, the fact that they have this situation with their quarterback where time and time again, he's willing to not break the bank and hold this team hostage as far as his salary goes, it is a great advantage as we see all these other teams trying to one-up each other and how they can take care of their quarterback. Mm, Brady right. says, I'm good. Mm. I got what I need. Right. Everything's fine financially. I'd rather win and take it there. It's a nice luxury to have, and the Patriots have really benefited from it. Arbitrage. 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 That's the That's thing. Right. I go economics. I like it. Uh, I picture Brady announcing this deal, and it's like the Wolf of Wall Street, and he's just up there. It's just like, I'm not believing going. <laughs> the show goes on. They're going to need a wrecking ball to get me out of here. And everyone goes nuts. Um, I also just, my, my heart and my mind goes to the other teams in the AFC East. You know, the Bills, Jets, and Dolphins, they got to just be like, Christ, how are we going to get rid of this guy? What are we going to do? There's been 19 head coaches that have been on those teams during Brady's run. And they got to be, can't this guy just do 42-year-old stuff, like get a gut and homebrew and become a wheel watcher and build models? No, he can't. <laughs> a wheel because watcher. you know what's so fascinating? It's not the physical part. You know, the avocado ice cream, the TB12, that's all great. Psychologically, the fact that he is re-upping is insane. And let's look at a couple comps, all right? I pulled a quote from Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan at 36 years old, significantly younger. If the desire is not there, the love was never there. I have to make a judgment of the desire of times I could step into a basketball court. I can't honestly say that that's what I've got going on right now, all right? It's going to be there every day I step in this building. How about Brett Favre? No one loves football more than number four, right? He's right. in love with the game. I just don't think I can give anything else aside from three hours on Sundays in football. You can't do total commitment up to this point. I've been totally committed. All right, so Tom Brady, 42, he's done it all in the hot sun of training camp. Tom, you're not still having fun out there, are you? Yeah, absolutely. We, I have a great time. I mean, football is, I've, I love the sport. Um, you know, I've loved playing it since I was a kid. I think, you know, I, hard for me to imagine doing anything else in life. Um, you know, I love playing ball. So, you know, to still be out here. At 41, you know, soon to be 42, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty great I thing have for me. Them now. The show goes on.
It's Brady good. and Queen Elizabeth. They're just in a competition. They're never going away. Goals. You're right. You guys are spot on. Listen, I'm, I'm not usually a proponent of guys getting paid um, older in their career. Um, just for the simple fact that once skill players touch a certain age, they're just never the same. They're not what they used to be. But Tom Brady at 41, soon to be 42, he was never a threat to run. He was never the most athletic. He was never going to outjump you. So what he's been able to do over the course of his career is just a testament to how hard he worked because he's not as athletic as a Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. So I'm fine with them paying him his, this money because at 45, I guarantee you this, Tom Brady will still be just as good. So I'm good with him getting paid. Ultimate team player. And of course, I'm sure this wasn't the first offer from the Patriots, meaning they came with him to him with maybe having him as the 10th highest paid quarterback <laughs> and moves it up to mm -hmm. six. So the fact that both sides can get it done for the greater good of Super Bowl rings is pretty impressive and inspiring for the other 31 squads. One